Welcome to the Northern BC Digital Collection. This is the collection's homepage at www.northernbccollections.ca. This resource holds digitized publications pertaining to Northern BC history, culture, and industrial development. For some background, the Northern BC Digital Collection is part of the University of Northern British Columbia's Institutional Repository, which is a partner in ARCA, British Columbia's network of post-secondary digital repositories. This is important to note because when you search in all collections, you're actually searching the entirety of the UNBC repository, not just the Northern BC Digital Collection. So you might see theses or other academic publications. So for this tutorial, we're going to scroll down and ignore that portion of the screen. And I'll show you various browsing and searching techniques specifically for the Northern BC Digital Collection. Let's start by reviewing the browsing options. The most unique feature of the collection is the ability to browse for material by Northern BC's regions. These regions roughly align, in most cases, to the already established regional district boundaries. You can browse material related to each region by clicking on the region's name in the left sidebar or by selecting the region on the map. Let's choose the Fraser Fort George region on the map. These are all the digitized historical resources in the collection that pertain to the Fraser Fort George region, which includes Prince George. If we looked on the left sidebar, we can see some facets that have appeared that can help us narrow our search results. The first is document type. In these results, we have both maps and books. The second is BC region. Some resources will cover more than one region. If you're interested in the geographical area that spans between Prince George and Quesnel, you can select the caribou facet. This will bring up resources that cover both Fraser Port George and the Caribou regions. Finally, you can sort your search results by either their title or the date they were created. The default sort order of your research results is based on relevance. In this case, the number of times Fraser Fort George appeared in the resources description and within the resource itself. The following two options, Browse by Region and Browse by Type are the same menus that are available to you on the home page. Let's go back to the home page now. You can do that by either clicking your browser's back button or by clicking this link in the left sidebar. Now let's try browsing by type of material. Our options are books, maps and plans, and serial publications, which includes newspapers. We'll look at the books. These resources are sorted alphabetically by title. The Northern BC Digital Collection uses the term books to cover many types of publications, including pamphlets, reports, and memoirs, among others. Let's look at the first result. This is a promotional pamphlet for the White Pass and Yukon route, a railway that travels to the remote community of Atlin, in northwestern British Columbia near the Yukon border. If we scroll down, we can see the metadata that describes the item. We can see the date it was published, how many pages it has, Library of Congress subject headings. If we click the first one, British Columbia Description and Travel, we can see all the other items in the collection that also relate to travel in British Columbia. Metadata also includes the library's call number. If you'd like to see this item in person, this is an important piece of information to note. Also provided are the region and city that have been assigned to this item. These links will bring up any other items from the collection that relate to that specific region or city. Finally, if the item is about one specific geographic location, coordinates have been included and the location of the place can be seen on the Google map at the bottom of the page. Let's scroll back up and actually look at the item. First, let's make it full screen so we get a better view. By default, the item appears in a two-page view, which works well for typical books. But for some larger or wider items, such as newspapers or pamphlets like this one, you may wish to switch to a one-page view here. 
We can turn the pages by pressing the arrow buttons. You can also visually navigate through a number of pages by switching to thumbnail view. If we're interested in this map in the pamphlet, we can use the zoom feature to narrow in on a specific area. We can also search within the publication. Let's search for Alan. When we select the first result flag, we can see all the instances of Atlin highlighted in the text on that page. You can leave full screen view by pressing escape on your keyboard or by clicking the full screen button again. Finally, if you'd like to download this item, scroll to the top of the page and look for the get this item download link. Books download as PDF. Let's return to the Northern BC Digital Collection homepage and try a search. The first step when searching is to go to this drop down in the search bar and switch it from All Collections to Northern BC Digital Collection. If you forget to specify this and you search in All Collections, you'll get theses and other UNBC publications in your results because you'll be searching the entire UNBC institutional repository. Let's just do a basic search with the term asbestos. The results that appear are sorted based on relevance. So the first result has the most instances of the term asbestos that I used to search. If I select Cassier Story, you can see all the flagged instances in the publication where the term asbestos appears. When we click the first flag, we can see that the term asbestos is highlighted wherever it appears on the page. If you would like additional information about how to maximize your search results, check out our Northern BC Digital Collection advanced search tutorial video. Now let's to return to the homepage for another basic search. If I specifically want a map or plan, we can search within the Maps and Plans collection. First, click on the Maps and Plans collection to open it. Note in the search area that the drop-down automatically populates to Maps and Plans. Let's search for Prince George. This fourth result is interesting. It's a 1948 plan of the Canada Hotel that used to exist in downtown Prince George. We can view the plan full screen to get a better view of the details. We can zoom in on the plan by using the scroll wheel on the mouse or by clicking the plus and minus buttons on the top left corner of the screen. If we zoom into the ladies parlor of the hotel, we see a separate women's entrance. You can also use your mouse to shift the screen to take a look at the basement and the hotel's beer storage area. Note the beer chute that existed under the sidewalk. To get out of the full screen, press escape on your computer keyboard or move your mouse up to the top left hand corner of the image and toggle back to the regular screen. If we scroll down, we see that the metadata is similar to the pamphlet we looked at previously. We can also download this image. The download links are available here and here. The image downloads is a JPEG 2000 or .jp2 file. This file type offers a very high resolution that works well for large images of maps and plans. Some people have difficulty viewing these files as JP2 is a less common format. JP2 files are viewable natively on Mac computers. Some Windows applications that support the format include Adobe Photoshop, as well as free options such as GIMP, ImageMagick, and IrfanView. Heading back to the homepage again, I'll finish up this tutorial by pointing out our sister projects. UBC's BC Historical Books Project, which provides access to digitized publications from the Bibliography of British Columbia, and UBC Okanagan's Digitized Okanagan History Project, which provides access to digitized historical resources pertaining to the Okanagan area of British Columbia. If you have any questions about the Northern BC Digital Collection, please contact us at 
archives at umbc.ca.